Come raise a cup and lose some silver!
Have you seen Wallace? Nice to see. We are allied with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Eivor. Dag, Basim has brought word of Sigurd's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. 
I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolfkist. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. moment to spare. Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. There's one sent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Someone was wounded. The knife attack, I think.
Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. Our guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Petra, where are you? Come. Petra, hello. Mimi, guide me. Have I lost her too? Zunin, guide me. Petra. Show yourself! It's getting dark! Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I am... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It, it may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. We live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on. I sleep, I frolic, I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic, I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She has been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Jotna! Here in Midgard! Return to Jotunheimer! Go now, or die here! What have you done with Petra? What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Eivor, stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Eivor, I am right here. There is no need to question the carrion. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find one. His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, look there. This is strange, Seda, Petra. Where are you? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. 
Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. No, 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 no. Too far. Too far. <laughs> Amazing. You did it, just like your Sunan. And not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, I hope I'm not intruding, but you see my brother. Petra, hurry! I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor. Chase the elk. to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rapids for permission.
This is a mere moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. Regret torments you. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You reek of fading glory. Let's see you, old friend.
Thor lends me strength. That's some news of Sigurd. Not all lost in make it is over.
I need your eyes, my friend. Surveying the area, Sunan. Not August didn't make a distinction between faith and understanding. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean... That is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. What happened in Mercia still puzzles me. Fulke saw something in Sigurd. A power, a legacy. What is it she wants? Her motives are difficult to fathom, but that can come later. Let's find your brother first. Agreed. If we do this, you'll earn the right to call me friend ten thousandfold. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. 
These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come. I will introduce you. And we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. Them sounds like me. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert. This is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bassam says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him. Before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The King's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Your king will not be happy, his church meddling in his politics. Does this not delight you, Eivor? A chance to defy Alfred? I am God's humble shepherd, sent to protect his lambs. If Kent's new elderman is a wolf, I would blunt his claws. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the king's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, 
but well connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Fulkenstein.